What's up guys? Uh, Sang here with another video and this topic today is uh, I want to go over um, why I got into real estate and how I got into real estate. It's actually probably one of the biggest questions that I got from several of my colleagues and you know, I just wanted to make a video so that way you know it's recorded here. Um, so right off the bat, why did I get into real estate? Um, I think just being with my background and always, you know, my my drive is always willing to help out others. And I think that's the biggest thing that aligns with my purpose and my long-term vision, right? Which is, though real estate, there's so many different niche, but um, getting my real estate license was just another stepping stone for me to actually be able to help out my friends and family and close ones, right? Being able to develop those relationships um, from the start and then just gradually over the years in the next five ten years um, help my my colleagues invest also and that's the biggest thing right everyone has their big dreams of hey that home ownership right that's the dream so I definitely want to be part of that and be able to assist them with the purchase but also with l l let's say selling their property or investment so that's the biggest why um, and how did I get into real estate so before I dive into how I got into real estate, I would say that it all started, I would say, with reading a lot of books and personal development. I think that's the biggest thing, right? Because within personal development, I got to read a lot of books on real estate, investing, and it got to the point where I was, you know, my mindset shifted to the point where, okay, this is the reason and how I, I can get into this business. And from there, mindset is developing a big why as well. But, and that's one, one factor. The second factor is after reading a lot of books, um, developing my mindset, getting that big vision. Um, I went on to, you know, connecting with network, um, networking events, meeting with other people who are successful in the investment side, but also on the sales side of the aspect. And from there, just meeting with other people and just seeing their story. And that's another step and so that's so that's the second reason and then the third reason how I got into real estate is um, my background that many of you may or may not know I I worked in sales in the beginning and then more recently is recruiting and with those two positions right I think I've developed a skill set that's being able to see where everyone's coming from listen to their story and then connecting the dots right whether that's sales or recruiting. Um, and now it's definitely those skill sets that I've built is definitely transferable over to real estate, right? And then that's the third reason and of how I got into real estate. Um, I would say the fourth one is after everything took place, it was decision that I finally made with the encouragement of my girlfriend, Michelle. She's like, hey, why don't you go um, study for your real estate license now? So. Keep in mind the first three, the first three points was like just the stepping stone of building up myself before I dive deeper into my next goal. So with the encouragement of my uh, girlfriend, she then decided, hey, you know what, it's time for you to get your real estate license. So why not went for it? I studied for, uh, I would say while working full time, I studied for my real estate license and then it probably took me about a few months and with a few months that I hate studying, I hate school, so I'll just put it right there. So I passed my exam, I was like, wow, this is the best feeling ever. So for some of you that want to get into real estate, you do have to study a little bit. The exam may be hard for others, may be super easy for some, but that's a low barrier of entry. So once you pass your exam, you then can decide to join a brokerage, whatever company you join. I joined eXp Realty and I love it so far. Um, so that's the first step. I got my license in February of 2020 and I joined my brokerage in probably beginning of March. Um, ironically enough, it's right before the shelter in place happened. So it's a great time to get into the business, right? But I think I'm using this time to really establish my foundation and build up that skill set needed to succeed. Um, but another thing besides from after you get your license, one of the biggest takeaway that I can give to my viewers and my friends is that right after I got it, um, or even before, I 
found like successful agents in my area and even let's say a little bit further out than San Jose um, I kind of asked them you know picked picked their brains asked them out to lunch and coffee this is where I take out my notepad and start dropping down questions that I have for them and then also just listening a lot because then most of these agents they have so much to offer right and from there you know just building up relationships and connecting with myself with top agents in the area I think those are the main points and if you have any particular questions of how I got into real estate or why I got into real estate feel free to reach out but in other terms if you ever thought about buying or selling in the future definitely reach out to me as well and I'll be more than willing to help you out thank you